here in i button and description box below you will get complete playlist of laplace transform uh, and <clears throat> here we are going to solve a problem which is from the topic inverse laplace transform basically uh, i would uh, like to show you something that is from video number 19 okay from video number 19 to video number yes that is 30 we are solving various problems on the topic inverse laplace transform all these questions are very 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 important i would i would suggest you i would request you to solve each and every problem okay and that too in this sequence only in this sequence only so that you will get very good uh, command over this topic okay and over this all these questions out of all these questions this question number 27 is most important problem okay other questions are also very important but this is the most important problem okay so let us start with the problem welcome to video number 21 and in this video we are going to solve third question on the topic that is inverse laplace transform okay this is one of the very good questions i mean very important questions so let us start with the problem solve or evaluate inverse laplace transform of s plus 2 upon s square into s plus 1 into s minus 2 okay so we need to evaluate this part okay first of all we'll try to solve this part okay by the help of partial fraction technique we'll try to solve this part okay we'll try to find the inverse laplace transform of this part fine then because of the s square and that too in the denominator part we'll apply division property or division rule of inverse laplace transform that is two times okay two times because here we have s square okay in the denominator part so let us start solving this part by using partial fra fraction technique so we have s plus 2 upon s plus 1 into s minus 2 equals to a upon s plus 1 plus b upon s minus 2 okay taking uh, taking lcm we have s plus 1 n into s minus 2 in the denominator part with a you need to multiply this part that is s minus 2 and with b that is plus b okay you need to multiply this part that is s plus 1 okay yes now if you compare this with this we can cancel out this denominator part so we are left with this that is s plus 2 equals to a into s minus 2 plus b into s plus 1 okay now we need to find the values of a and b okay we are interested in finding the values of a and b okay so to get the value of a we need to diminish this part okay we need to cancel this part how we can cancel this part or we can diminish this part or we can vanish this part by putting s equals to minus 1 okay so put s equals to minus 1 okay s equals to minus 1 this part will get cancelled so on comparing this that is putting s equals to minus 1 you can get the value of a and you will get a equals to how much minus 1 upon 3 okay it's a simple calculation so you can do by yourself okay put s equals to 1 minus 1 you will get a equals to minus 1 upon 3 okay in the same way okay in the same way if you want to get the value of b we need to vanish this part okay how we, how can we vanish this part by putting s equals to how much 2 okay if you put 2 in place of s 2 minus 2 will become 0 so this part get vanished so you will get b okay so to get the value of b you need to put s equals to 2 2 plus that is 4 this part get cancelled okay this part will vanish okay because 2 minus 2 that is 0 and a into 0 that is 0 b into 2 plus 1 that is 3 so 4 equals to 3 times b so b equals to how much 4 upon 3 so from here you can get the value of a and b fine then put the values of a and b over here okay so that you will get the values of this fine therefore we have yes therefore we have s plus 2 upon s plus 1 into s minus 2 equals to how much what is the value of a that is minus 1 upon 3 so minus 1 upon 3 times what that is 1 upon me s plus 2 s plus 1 plus b into b upon s minus 2 so plus b that is 4 upon 3 times 1 upon s minus 2 okay after this we need to apply or we need to uh, we need to go for inverse laplace transform okay so taking inverse laplace transform on both the sides so we will get what inverse laplace transform of s plus 2 upon s plus 1 into s minus 2 equals to minus 1 upon 3 inverse laplace transform of 1 upon s plus 1 plus 4 upon 3 times inverse laplace transform of 1 upon s minus 2 okay so 
let us see one formula for inverse Laplace transform of 1 upon s minus a that is how much e to the power 80 okay inverse Laplace transform of 1 upon s minus a is how much e to the power 80 applying this formula okay that is inverse Laplace transform of 1 upon s s plus 1 so here you can see the value of a is how much minus 1 so this minus 1 upon 3 will be as it is this can be written as e to the power minus t okay similarly in this part this 4 upon 3 is as it is inverse Laplace transform of 1 upon s minus 2 okay here the value of a is how much plus 2 so we'll have e to the power this 4 upon 3 is as it is inverse Laplace transform 1 upon s minus 2 can be written as e to the power 2t okay so we have the formula so we have the inverse Laplace transform of this part okay but in the problem yes we have inverse Laplace transform of this part but in the problem we have 1 upon s square it means we need to yes apply or we need to use division property two times because of this s square okay so before yes before that we need to see the division property in the case of inverse Laplace transform okay that is a property of inverse Laplace transform according to this if inverse Laplace transform of f bar of s equals to f of t then by division property we have inverse Laplace transform of f bar of s upon s equals to integration 0 to t f of t dt okay I repeat this once again inverse Laplace transform of f bar of s upon s can be written as 0 to integration 0 to t f of t dt okay applying this formula that is inverse Laplace transform of 1 upon s into this part which is this part this equals to integration 0 to t okay this is what this is f of t okay since this is positive and this is negative so because of this positive we have written this as first term and this as my second term okay then dt what we need to do is simply integrate this part which is very 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 easy 4 upon 3 is as it is e to the power 2t integration e to the power 2t is what e to the power 2t upon 2 okay now integrating this part that is minus 1 upon 3 is as it is e to the power minus t that is e to the power minus t upon minus 1 okay now we need to integrate okay limit is from 0 to t fine yes 2 and 2 with uh, here we have 2 and here we have 4 okay cancelling this we'll have 2 upon 3 e to the power 2t okay plus minus minus will become plus e to the power minus t upon 3 okay limit is from 0 to t okay yes very simple calculation actually yes now putting this upper limit you will find okay we are replacing t with t so there will be no change in the case of upper limit that is 2 upon 3 e to the power 2t plus e to the power minus t upon 3 okay now coming to second that is lower limit okay first term is positive so upper limit positive so lower limit will be negative okay that is minus 2 upon 3 into e to the power 0 that is 1 so we will have minus 2 upon 3 now coming to this part upper limit positive so lower limit will be negative okay 1 upon 3 into e to the power 0 so 1 upon 3 you will have okay this part is as it is that is 2 upon 3 into e to the power 2t plus e to the power minus t upon 3 solving this part that is minus 2 upon 3 minus 1 upon 3 will get minus 3 upon 3 minus 3 upon 3 is how much minus 1 okay so on solving this that is inverse Laplace transform this part will get how much this part that is 2 upon 3 e to the power 2t plus e to the power minus t upon 3 minus 1 fine now we need to apply division property once again okay once more because of this s square okay yes so again using division property we have yes inverse Laplace transform of 1 upon s into 1 upon s into s plus 2 upon s plus 1 into s minus 2 okay you will get integration 0 to t f of t okay f of t right f of t dt fine yes we need to integrate this part which is very 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 easy 2 upon 3 is as it is integration of e to the power 2t is how much e to the power 2t upon 2 okay e to the power 2t upon 2 now coming to this part that is 1 upon 3 okay in this in the uh, denominator we have 3 so writing this 1 upon 3 now integrating this part that is e to the power minus t that is e to the power minus t upon minus 1 integration of e to the power minus t is how much e to the power minus t upon minus 1 okay and here we have minus 1 integration of minus 1 is how much minus t limit is from 0 to t okay now so again solving 2 2 will get cancelled so we have e to the power 2 t upon 3 okay plus minus minus e to the power minus 3 
okay it was minus t upon 3 and here we have minus t limit is from 0 to t okay now putting upper limit there is no change in this part okay because we are replacing t with t here we have e to the power 2 t upon 3 minus e to the power minus t upon 3 minus t okay now putting lower limit here you will get upper limit positive lower limit negative okay e to the power 0 upon 3 now again put that is lower limit in place of t okay upper limit negative so lower limit will be positive that is e to the power 0 upon 3 now put 0 in place of t here you will get 0 okay so this part is as it is that is e to the power 2t upon 3 minus e to the power minus t upon 3 this is minus t if you see here this is minus e to the power 0 upon 3 that is mi minus 1 upon 3 here we have my plus 1 upon 3 these two terms will get cancelled so we are left with this part and this is my final answer okay thank you for watching this video thank you so much